Hi everybody, this is meteorologist Sam Schreier. It's that time of year where we start to talk about monsoons or monsoon fueled thunderstorms. So what does that mean? Well, I'll try to explain it. It's actually kind of simple and it affects Colorado. It's kind of a big deal for us. So during the summer, we get a lot of heat. The jet stream rises up over the country. It's this current of air way up in the atmosphere and it allows heat to build underneath that jet and this starts to influence Colorado. We start to get pretty warm in the summer, right? So as the heat builds across the country, there's a general area of high pressure that sets up. Usually in between New Mexico and Texas for Colorado, that's kind of the good spot for it to be. But we also, during the really hot summer months, tend to get a monsoon low pressure system. So warm Pacific Ocean water and the hot desert southwest tend to develop a low pressure area, usually around Southern California, Western Arizona. And guess what's in the middle of these two? Colorado. So air moves clockwise around a high pressure system, but it moves counterclockwise around the low. So that means we start to move the air out of the south. A monsoon is just a wind direction shift that tends to bring more moisture. So we're moving the air out of the south and that starts to pull in all this extra moisture for Colorado. Some of it out of the Gulf of Mexico. That's actually a pretty key ingredient for Colorado's monsoon thunderstorms. Some of this is off of the Sierra Madre Occidental or the Sierra Madres. It's a mountain range in northern and western Mexico. All the vegetation, the trees, the trees, the grass, stuff like that will start to push this moisture into Colorado. And then we also pull a little bit of Pacific moisture, but also the Gulf of California, that starts to really stream into the state. So with all that moisture, what's kind of the deal with the monsoon storm? Well, they tend to follow the same pattern almost every day, usually around the start to the middle of July, typically in early August, when we've really got that classic summer heat. And like I said, they follow the same pattern. Typically, storms will start somewhere in and around the mountains around midday, usually about 1 to 2 o'clock. Now, there could be some heavy rain, lightning, even hail in the mountain thunderstorms, but typically towards the middle of the day when they're out over Colorado Springs is when they get larger. They could pull in a lot more moisture, a lot more air, making the storms get big. Heavy rain, lightning, and hail possibility. Typically, the hail is not damaging, but it can be. It depends on the day. And then through the late day into the evening, storms move out across the lower terrain into the plains and everything starts to dry up overnight and we just set this all up again. When you plan your day out in July, early August, you need to know that these monsoon storms are a near daily thing. It can be kind of annoying and dangerous if you're hiking, especially for the lightning, but it's usually a very good thing. Keeps the forest wet, keeps the grass dried, it helps to keep our fire danger low.